buying a brand new home is, well, it's exciting. But a question I do get is, Jose, do you think it's worth getting the upgrades that they offer? My answer is, well, yes and no. Let's do this. In this video, let me cover seven upgrades that, at least in my opinion anyway, are definitely worth looking at. Hey, Jose here, your SoCal Realtor. If you're even thinking about buying or selling a house, do not hesitate to reach out. My team and I, we are here and ready to help you with your real estate needs. So, okay, as I said, here are seven upgrades that I, I really do feel are worth it. Real quick, these upgrades, these are based on the cost as well as the difficulty to do after versus having them done while the house is being built as, as well as actually the possible increase or potential increase in the resale value for your house. The first one here is probably not gonna come as much of a surprise to you, but it, it, it's kitchen upgrades. Listen, if you're looking for what upgrades, what is going to give you the best possible increase in resale value for your house, whenever that day comes, it may not necessarily be next year, but whenever that day comes that you do decide to sell your house, the kitchen is almost always going to be one of the first rooms in the house that's gonna do that for you. It's usually one of the first rooms in the home that most anybody's gonna look at. It, it's usually the room that most people are going to spend a large amount of their time while they're in their home. If they have upgrades for things like upgraded countertops, maybe upgrade that to like a, you know, maybe like a nice granite or something like that. It really may be worth looking at having that done now. Now, let's, let's be honest though, I mean, Yes, this obviously is something that you can have done later. And if this is not something that fits in the budget, that, that's okay. I mean, because again, yes, this, this is obviously something that you can have done later. But if this is something that you can have done now rather than later, it, it can really be worth it. There's cost savings with having it done now. To explain yourself? Oftentimes, builders will offer a discounted rate or cost for the, uh, for the upgraded countertops when they do that while they're still building the house. Think about it, there, there's no old countertops or anything to remove. I mean, everything's still in the, the construction phase. They, they were gonna be putting a countertop in your kitchen regardless, e either way. But when you have them done later, and, and listen, this may not necessarily be 100% of the time, but at least from what I've seen, in my experience anyway, most contractors, they are gonna charge you a little bit more when you have it done later. Because if you think about it, it's not just simply measuring and cutting and installing the, the new, sorry, I don't, I don't know. Is that how they install a kitchen cut? I, I, obviously I'm probably exposing my non-construction self, but whatever, they're, they're installing, the, it's not just that. They still have to uninstall, remove, and dispose of your old kitchen countertops. Here's another one with the kitchen. Maybe you'd like to have a, a little bit larger of a sink, which I, I think can definitely be nice to have. Now's a great time to do that because if you do decide to have that done later, well, that you're gonna have to have that, that opening in your, your uh, kitchen countertop enlarged. In other words, cutting a bigger hole. For that new sink to be able to fit, that means the opening in, in, the, the, uh, in, in your countertop, it's gonna have to be opened up. It's gonna have to be enlarged to fit the new bigger sink, which brings us back to the point about countertops. Now, let's say, again, you, you have it done later, but I don't know, two years from now, you decide, I'm, we're gonna put in a larger sink and, and we're gonna have that opened up. And, and hopefully not, and, and in all likelihood, probably not, it's probably not gonna happen. But what if it does? What if they're, they're cutting it open, making it a little larger, fitting your, uh, your new bigger sink, and a little chip happens? You're probably not going to find matching material to replace or, or just even fix that. Again, this one may not necessarily fit in the budget or, or maybe it's not even available from the builder, but if it is available, and it does fit, it really may be worth one to seriously consider. Real quick, before we keep going, if you've ever bought a home before, wh whether that's a new build home or a resale home, wh whichever one, but do me a favor, let us know in the comments below. I'm curious, what was the first room in the house that you looked at? There's also the bathrooms. Similar to the kitchen, if you're thinking, hey, you know, we'd like some nicer upgraded countertops in the bathrooms, and Obviously it fits in the budget. Just like with the kitchen, it, it really can be advantageous to, to have it done now rather than have that done later. Now, another upgrade in the bathroom that I, I've had a few of my clients uh, do is, is this. When, if, if the bathroom, if it has a, a separate shower and a tub, that, that's one thing. But if it's not, if it's a, if it's a one unit, you know, it's the, the tub with the shower, you know, combination setup. I've had a few of my clients actually pay for an upgrade 
to have that instead of that, have it built as a walk-in shower. It, again, there, there's a, a price uh, advantage to having it done now because there's no deconstruction and then oh, got to get it all. They're, they're still in the building process. So if that's something you'd like, I mean, and, and, they, and they have it available, can be a perfect time to be able to have that done. Here's one that, that isn't always necessarily available, but, but if it is, it's definitely worth looking at. That is structural upgrades. What is that supposed to mean? Maybe instead of a two car garage, maybe, maybe make it a three car garage, or, or maybe if, if there's no fireplace, maybe add a fireplace, or, or if there is a fireplace, maybe a second fireplace. Basically, these are things that may not necessarily be able to be done after the house is built, or, or maybe just not necessarily easily able to be done after the house is built. Some people might like the idea of having a, you know, a second fireplace in the, in the master bedroom. And if this is not part of the, uh, the blueprints, the plan for your house, it, and assuming as long as it's an upgrade that's available, it's definitely going to be a lot easier to do that now while the house is still being built rather than trying to do it later. Hear me though, these are upgrades that may not necessarily be available to you. I mean, because different builders may have different uh, upgrades available. In fact, actually different locations may have different upgrades available. Ultimately, what will end up happening though is once you've decided, you've settled on the, the, the model of the home that you want to purchase, the plot location where you want your home to be, what will happen is you'll end up sitting down and meeting with the design center and, and at that point, you'll end up getting to uh, see all the different upgrades that are available for you. Another upgrade option that may be worth considering is having a gas line added to the back of the house. Listen, if you enjoy uh, sitting out in the backyard, under the stars, next to your fire pit, well, having a gas line for that is definitely going to make that convenient. Or, or here's another one. What if you're, you're, you're a grill master and you want to have an island in the back for your barbecue and, and the whole setup? Well, again, having a gas line that leads to that is going to make that extremely convenient. Can you have a fire pit and an island for your barbecue without having a gas line? Sure, obviously you can. But you are going to have to have propane to be able to run the fire pit and the barbecue. And, and listen, if you're looking for convenience, then yeah. Having that gas line to be able to run out to the fire pit or run to your barbecue, that's going to be really nice. Okay, unless you do a lot of barbecuing, I mean, you might not necessarily go through that propane for your barbecue, you know, real fast. But for the fire pit, it's, it is possible you could go through that propane at a pretty good pace. But if this is something that you're thinking, you know, yeah, we'll probably have it done later. I mean, having it done when your house is being built, it, I mean, think about it, there, there's no walls. There, there's no concrete, no nothing. The builder just just runs the line out there. I mean, it's easier, it's certainly a lot easier for them than it's gonna be for, for any contractor to, to come out there and do that later. How about extra outlets in the house? Follow me on this one. Let's say, for example, let, let's say you plan on hanging your TV on the wall and, and you know exactly where it's gonna be. The TV's going right there. But here's the thing. You don't want cords to be seen. You, you don't want to plug in your TV and run a cord up there or whatever in the corner. You, you don't want any cords to be seen. So what you could do is have them put an outlet right behind where you're planning on hanging the TV. Problem solved. No cords seen. I like the sound of that. Or maybe you'd like just to have uh, you know extra outlets in other rooms. Like for instance this. Maybe, maybe you'd like to have an extra outlet in the laundry room so now you plug in your, your uh, cordless vacuum. Or here's another one. Maybe you'd like to have an outlet or maybe a couple outlets out under the eaves, outside the house for convenience when you hang up the Christmas lights. I mean, that'd make life a little bit easier, wouldn't it? Or here's another one. Maybe out in the garage. Maybe you'd like to have a, a charging station uh, set up there in the garage for your electric vehicle or for the electric vehicle you're, you're planning on getting. Or maybe you'd like a, a three-way switch for, you know, for one or two of the, the lights there in the house or just Whatever it is, my, my point is this, it is way easier to do it now while they're building the house because, I mean, think about it, there, there's no walls, no drywall, nothing up there, nothing in the way. If, if you want an extra outlet right here, that's it. They screw it in, they feed the wiring, they plumb it, there you go, boom. I mean, they can pretty much put that just about anywhere you want. And sound effects. But to do it later, that's not as easy. I mean, you, you got all the drywall up. So now they have an electrician, a contractor, come out and do that. They get, they got to cut the hole. They got to feed the wiring through the walls. It's just, again, impossible? No, but definitely not as easy. And it's 
probably why it's usually going to cost less to have it done when they're building the house. Now, this may not necessarily be an, an outlet, but it still falls under electrical, right? So it's the AC unit. Where are they installing your AC unit? It, it's, is it right outside the backyard, right like right by the back door? And, and that's not necessarily always the case, but if it is, if, it, if it's like right outside the back door, I mean, who wants that? I, I would look to see, is there an upgrade available to have that relocated? Maybe, maybe around the corner on the side of the house where it's a little more out of the way. Again though, as I just said, not every upgrade is gonna be available for every location. Uh, but if it is available and, and your AC unit is gonna be like kind of inconveniently right outside the back door, I, I think this is definitely an upgrade that might really be worth looking at, uh, taking advantage of and having the AC unit relocated. Now, if you are thinking, hey, we, we'd love to have a nice concrete patio deck out in the backyard there, or maybe, you know, maybe on the side of the house, have a little, little pad, uh, concrete pad, uh, you know, where we store the trash cans, or, or maybe, maybe on the side of the house, you know, a little walkway that leads around the side of the house to the side gate. Oftentimes you're gonna get a better rate from the builder for that concrete than you will from a contractor to do that later. Again, not that you can't do it later because obviously you can, it's just that oftentimes you are gonna get a better cost on that, a lower cost from the builder for that concrete uh, because I mean, think about it, they're, they're already out there. They're already pumping tons of concrete for, for driveways and slabs and you know walkways that lead up to the front door. I mean, just, you know, whatever for, holy cow, I mean, how many houses? The cost for them, for, for the builder, it's usually gonna be much lower than it is for, uh, you know, for, for a typical cement contractor to come out and, and pour that uh, patio decking or, or walkway or just you know, whatever it is that you're looking for. Now, this one's kind of tricky. It, it's upgraded flooring. And, and should you consider upgrades for, uh, for upgraded flooring? Really depends. Now, if they have flooring options that you just, you absolutely love, then yes, th this is an upgrade that I, I would certainly say, yeah, I, I would consider. I mean, me, because listen, the, the standard non-upgraded flooring, it's usually gonna be carpeting and uh, linoleum. But let's say for instance, you'd prefer tile. But if the tile options they have, they're just, they're not really meeting your preferences. Then I wouldn't spend the money on that upgrade. Definitely not for something that you're, you're trying to talk yourself into liking. But if you do like it, and, and I mean legitimately, you really do like it, then yeah, I, I would do it, I would, I would pay for the upgrade to have that done. Because listen, obviously it's going to be a lot easier to have it done now while they're building the house, before you move in, before you have a bunch of furniture in the house that's gonna need to, need to you know, be moved in order to do it later. Now, and, and of course, if you say, Jose, but that, you know, we like carpeting, we're gonna keep the carpeting, we, that, that's a, then my recommendation for you is, I would say, pay for the upgraded, uh, thicker padding under the carpet, you know, make it nice and plush under your feet. Trust me, you're, you're gonna love it. Hear me though, I'm not saying that, you know, getting any upgrades that are not mentioned in this video is, is crazy. It's a big no-no or just, no, not, not at all. I mean, you, you might be thinking, Jose, we were thinking of getting, um, uh, you know, shutters. We were thinking of having shutters put into the house. Uh, you know, are you saying we shouldn't do that? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Obviously, from a convenience factor, I mean, it's it's a lot more convenient to have it done then, right? you know, at the time that they're building the house rather than dealing with it later after you've moved in. I'm just saying, from a cost perspective, it is possible, for, at least for some of these things, it is possible that you may be able to get better pricing if you, uh, if you did it later afterward. Of course, if you do have any questions at all, or, or maybe you are thinking about buying or just, or even selling a home here or in or anywhere near the Inland Empire, my contact information is below. Feel free to reach out. Otherwise, until then, catch you on the next one.